Why does virtually every pizzeria offer anchovies, even though almost no one ever orders them? Tradition. Italians have been putting fish on bread for at least 2,000 years. Ancient Romans topped their flatbreads with garum, a ubiquitous condiment made of fermented fish parts. And fish was one of the toppings for pizza when the dish was first developed in Naples during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The original varieties were pizza bianca with olive oil and salt, pizza margarita with milled preserved tomatoes, pizza con pomodori with sliced tomatoes, and pizza marinara with tomatoes and anchovies. This was peasant food, and anchovies made an ideal topping. They were cheap, plentiful, and could be preserved almost indefinitely in oil and salt. When the first wave of Italian immigrants came to the United States in the late 1800s, they brought pizza with them. Neapolitan-owned bakeries sold the pies to factory workers on the street, still keeping to the traditional formulations. In the early 20th century, as the immigrants prospered and Anglo-Americans began to sample the exotic food, pizzerias started catering to local tastes. They offered a la carte toppings like vegetables and pork, particularly in Chicago, the country's meat processing capital. These new toppings soon crowded out the anchovy. When pizza became a mainstream product after World War II, some started experimenting with Swiss cheese, onions, and liverwurst. Canadians got into the act too. An Ontario restaurateur claims to have baked the first Hawaiian pizza in the 1960s. While some OG variations of pizza have disappeared, the anchovies topping has never gone to sleep with the fishes because it's an inexpensive form of nostalgia, a taste of the old country that, as long as it's just on the menu, you don't actually have to, well, taste.